Hello, it's Ryan Hildred from the Rovers Chat website here, just doing a match preview for the Watford Blackburn Rovers game for the Watford Way podcast. Um, thanks a lot for having me and inviting me. Um, my thoughts on Watford so far, um, in terms of league position, um, exactly where I expected you to be. Um, I fancied Watford and Norwich actually to to come down and be right up there because I think both squads are um, are still quite strong and, and, and Watford have got a good a lot of good attacking options. I think the thing that surprised me with Watford is the way that you've won your games. Um, three 1-0 victories and, and then obviously you've had a 0-0 as well. I wasn't expecting it to be so tight. Uh, I don't know if that's the, the new manager that's come in and, and just shored you up at the back, but certainly I was expecting a few more high scoring games from Watford but um absolutely uh, you're right where I thought you um you would be and and there's obviously still a lot of quality within the squad particularly at championship level with players like Saar and Dini and and even players like Kiko Feminier at, at this level who should do well um in terms of Rovers going into the game um injuries wise we are struggling a little bit and and we were found out on Saturday as a result of that um I think it was just one game too far in terms of the injuries against Forest um Bradley Dack has been a long-term absentee since last Christmas uh Lewis Holtby has been away uh, with the birth of his child over in Germany Joe Rothwell tested positive for Covid so he's been isolating and then our youngster Joe Rankin Costello um also had an injury so we were quite light on our attacking options um, going into the game on Saturday against Forest, and from what Mowbray's been saying in the pre-match stuff uh, for this Watford game, it's probably going to be um, much of the same, um, although I am hoping some of the new signings uh, might make that squad. Um, in terms of the transfer window for Rovers, uh, we had an extremely slow start to the transfer window. Um, I think we'd signed Thomas Kaminsky, our goalkeeper, uh, from Belgium uh, and then there was nothing for quite a long time. Um, we did sign Tyrese Dolan uh, who was a youngster from Preston under 23s who's made a good impact and then it just seemed to go slow for a while. Um, we've signed Daniel Ayala, uh, a centre-back obviously who's well known at this level. Great signing for us who should form a partnership with, with Daryl Lenahan at centre-back and then um, after being quite quiet for a while and wondering what we might do, particularly when the European transfer window closed, Tony Mowbray seemed to start pulling some irons out of the fire and we made four signings on transfer deadline day last Friday. Uh, so we signed Tom Tribal uh, on loan from Norwich City, centre midfielder, uh, Barry Douglas on loan from Leeds United at left back, uh, Harvey Elliott, which was a real surprise. Um, the youngster from Liverpool signed him on loan uh, as well and then a permanent signing in Ainsley Pears the goalkeeper from Middlesbrough so you know to sum up that transfer activity Mowbray's really addressed um, particularly squad depth um, you know I've said about the Forest game and, and coming up to this game we're quite light on options bring those four options in and then we've got more to cope so you know particularly goalkeeper and left back and, and central midfield Mowbray's addressed three areas there for us so Overall, we're, we're feeling quite positive after that transfer activity and hopefully have a squad which can cope with the stresses and strains of the championship a bit more this season. Maybe we'll get closer to the playoffs, maybe we won't. Um, but certainly with these games upcoming, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, you know, you need a larger squad to cope with that. And with that blend of, of academy players that we've got coming through, hopefully that transfer activity has helped us. Um, in terms of my prediction for the game, uh, Rovers have struggled this season against the sides which are well organised. So Cardiff came to Ewood Park and were well organised and that was a nil-nil game. Uh, the Forest match at Ewood Park on Saturday, again Chris Hewton's first game, he was well organised and we struggled to really make any chances in that game. And with Watford, you know, playing the way that they are this season with keeping it tight and the games obviously not having many goals in them, particularly away from home, it might be an area that we struggle. So um, it's a game I'm not feeling overly optimistic about, um, despite you know our successes uh, in some of our games this season and obviously plenty of goals in, in those Wickham and, and Derby County games. So, you know, if I'm having to be uh, optimistic, if, if that's the right word, you know, a draw for Rovers, I'm kind of hoping for, but we may well come unstuck against a Watford side, which, you know, do look well organised this season. Thank you.